I think on the topic of protein, we're probably underdoing it for most people. I don't think I was paying enough attention to it. And I think the RDAs, the recommended daily allowances are kind of out to lunch. You know, the RDA for protein is something to the tune of, I want to say it's like 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight or something pathetic like that. You take an 80 kilogram person, so someone that weighs like about a buck 75, and that person should only be eating 65 grams of protein a day or something asinine, like 0.8 to 1. And the reality of it is I think the RDA is predicated on how much protein you need to like live versus how much protein you need to thrive. And so I think when you look at those data, you realize it's probably closer to two grams per kilogram or about a gram per pound of body weight. And that quote unquote toxicity of too much protein, toxicity is that, well, it's generally kidney toxicity. If you consume enough protein, you're going to overtax the kidneys because that's how we excrete the excess nitrogen. And you're looking at somewhere in the order of three to four grams per kilogram before you get into the places where you're going to start to challenge your kidneys' abilities to take care of excess nitrogen. So this is something that we're also becoming much more attuned to in our patients. It seems to be a really big problem in middle-aged women. That's where we're probably seeing the biggest deficits are these women that show up with no muscle mass, eating no protein, doing very little strength training. I mean, to me, that is a recipe for a shorter life, but more importantly, a lower quality of life. This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies.